Check. Uh huh. Well, that was quick. All right, cool. Mics are good. Welcome back to the basement yard. That was rare. Uh, everyone, what the one one check? Yeah. Yeah. All I need is one mic. That's old Nas. That was a good song. That was a great song. It was kind of like I couldn't relate to it at all, because it was like about like really hard stuff, and I was just like, the pen part I could relate to. What having a pen? Yeah, every once in a while, I'm like, all I need is a pen right now. When have you felt that way? You've never had a feeling where you're like, oh man, I need a pen. Does anyone have a pen? All I need is one pen. <laughs> you took <laughs> Nas's song and you, you formed it into, oh man, hey, do you got a pen I could borrow? Hey man, life imitates art. Usually, who borrows pens? Usually it's pencils you need to borrow. People got pens. People don't have pencils. Uh, I'm going to disagree with you there. I feel like more people have pens now than they do pencils. That's exactly what I just said. Wait, wait, wait. There, you have pens. You need pencils. No, no, no. Like I'm saying, I think more people would be in desire for a pen. Like you can't sign a document with a pencil, dog. No, I know that, but you don't need a pen. Listen, you don't. <coughs> you you have pens because pens are more useful. Okay. But when you're taking a math test, you need to use a pencil. Yeah, but that's a test. I'm talking about like. I'm you- not talking about adults, dog. Uh, oh, we all don't right. need a fucking pencil. Oh, all right. I all right. I haven't erased shit in years. I feel you, cuz. When was the last time you erased something? Um. You haven't used an eraser in years, I guarantee it. When was the last time you erased something? Maybe fifth, maybe 15 years ago. So I'm saying no one erases anymore. Yeah. We could just backspace shit. Or we just pen, we cross it out. You, but I can't, I haven't erased. And I can't tell you how long. And I used to, I used to love erasers. Get the ones that look like cars. Like cars? You never had that? Like, you know, book fairs and shit? Yes, book fairs were great, but I never had money to buy any of the posters. Posters? Yeah, they would sell posters and books and bookmarks and Pencils. I never bought a book at a book fair. How the Scholastic Book Fair? The Scholastic Book Fair, fucking robbery. That fucking thing. Oh, I was gonna say, what are you talking? You about to get mad, angry? It's no, no, books, dude. No, because every time I would go there, I'd be like, yo, this is mad expensive. Like, I can't get this book. I wanted. To, that was the only time I ever wanted to buy books. I was never gonna read those books. But no, nah, hell no. You just but, wanted to be like, I'm not poor. What's up? I bought stuff. One hundred percent. That was it. That's all I wanted to yeah. not have everyone not. No, I was poor. You got kids. I got six books. I'm over here with a fucking bookmark. Yeah, it's crazy. Ends up like in the garbage like a day later. Yeah, I used to get money from my mom. She would give me like four dollars, and then I would just go ham on erasers. Yeah, erasers were dope. They were awesome. Remember like the the pink little brick ones? Hell yeah. And wasn't there like a two tone one? Yeah, it was like gray and pink. Yeah, why was it gray though? I don't know. It reminded me of that ice cream. You ate gray ice cream? No, no, no. It's, that wasn't. <laughs> You know the ice cream that's like pink, white, and ne- Neapolitan? Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Yeah. Yo, never ate the strawberry garbage. No, no, strawberry was garb. Yo, Neapolitan, strawberry was the worst. Yeah. Vanilla was the best. Chocolate was the second best. Yeah, but you had to, you, you had, you couldn't just eat vanilla alone. No, no, no. You had, you, you dug in between those lines. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But yo, literally. I used to get so mad when I would see chocolate in the vanilla though. Nah, because it's like, whatever, those can mix. But if I got some pink in my white, I'd be fucking pissed. Also because the strawberry was chunky. You would yeah. get those frozen bits of strawberry. Ew. I hated those. Blend this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's disgusting. No. Strawberry ice cream is gross. What would you have mostly growing up? Turkey Hill, Briars? Ooh, that's a great question. Honestly, the real answer is whatever it, was on sale. Yeah, that, it depends how good my parents were doing Yeah, my, at the time. <laughs> Briars was probably... Splurging. Hagen Dazs was splurging. No, Hagen Dazs stick. I still don't buy Hagen Dazs because that shit is expensive. Eight ninety nine for four for little, bars for the fucking the the. Yo, Hagen Dazs sells those little urine samples, and they're like ten dollars. I know they're so good though. I know. Man. What's your favorite Hagen Dazs like actual ice cream? I honestly haven't had a whole lot of Hagen Dazs in my life. Let me ask you this: When you have a chocolate covered shell, uh, like. But it's vanilla inside, like Hagen Dazs. You know what I mean? How they come in the bars? Oh yeah, yeah. Do you eat the top or the sides or the bottom first? Um, or do you just lick that chocolate? Ew! Who the fuck licks those? It's I know, I know, liquors. I know, liquors. They lick hard chocolate. Yeah. Fucking idiots. But like they like suck that thing. Whoa! That was. Yeah, listen, <laughs> your, your neck is in a move. I'm just gonna say now it's recorded. People can see it. Practice. Saw that. All right. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I didn't like that. I would bite the at first. I would no, I wouldn't bite like directly on top, but I'd bite like a, like a little, a forty five degree bite on top. 
But then I usually go sides. The worst is when you would get a big ass bite and way too much of the chocolate would come off. It would just chip off. And yeah, and that's it's like, like Klondike ah. bars. Klondike bars are fucking bullshit too because it's like you bite it and all of a sudden this becomes a, a, a it, it's yeah flying I I, flying saucers. What is that? Oh, like, is that the cookie? The cookie, and it has, like, the swirl vanilla in it. That shit is fire, dude. Fucking side lick the shit out oh of it. Oh, my those. God. That's like licking a vagina. Hell, yeah. That taught me everything, really. I mean, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Very sexual food, ice cream. Yeah. You know what else is a sexual food that reminds me of vaginas? Macaroons. You ever turn a macaroon sideways? You're like, that's a pussy right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. You know? Actually, has, like, the same, like, dimensions, too. What? Like. Macaroons are, like, this big, dude. No, 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 no. Not, the, not like yeah, that, but, fucking, like. like <laughs> Fairies, so like <laughs> pixie fucking pixie vaginas. Uh, no, but it like actually really legitimately looks like a puss. Yeah, it does, yeah. right? Yeah, I agree with you. I don't really like macaroons. I don't think macaroons are great. No, I, big vagina guy, though. Big vagina guy, big cannoli guy. Ooh, big cannoli guy. Chocolate cannoli? Yeah, whatever cannoli. You like vanilla cannolis over chocolate cannolis, though? Uh, what do you, uh, no, it's usually like the vanilla with the chocolate chips in it. Nah, I, get, I just get the, the chocolate filling cannoli. Nah, though. the chocolate's good too, but the vanilla is a classic. Yeah. And yo, you ever I'm not going to shy away from a vanilla cannoli. I'm nah, just saying I, I, I prefer a chocolate one. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. But like, you ever go to like Costco yes. or BJ's and they have like a big fucking tray and it's like all uh, cannoli like chips or whatever and then just a big pool of the white shit that you could just dip into? No. It? You've never seen this? No. Dude. Sounds a little gross, to be honest. Why? It's a cannoli. Yeah, but everyone's dipping in there. Yeah, you scoop. Uh, You're not spitting in it. Mm. What the fuck? It's like eating chips. How big is this cauldron of fucking cannoli soup? It's pretty big. It takes up, I would say, like 30% of the package. Really? Yeah, it's a big It's a big dip. It's a big dip. Because you need a lot of fucking sauce. Yeah. Whatever that is. What is that? I don't know what it cream? is. Cream? Cream. It would have to be cream. Yeah. Sauce? No. Where did this conversation... How did no we idea. get here? I have no idea. What was the original point to this? I don't know. We were talking about foods or something. I don't know. I don't know. Have you? Did you ever mess with like your friend's food growing up? Like put something in their food? I did once. You did? So I didn't put anything in their food. I think that shit's like fucked up. It's very fucked. It's, yeah. it's bad. And I learned the hard way. This I didn't seem... I didn't think it was a big deal because... I didn't like put a cricket in his fucking, right. you know, whatever, yeah. you know, like that's disgusting. Or like rub his pizza on my dick or something, yeah. you know. I also think he would have noticed if I did that. But anyway, um, I, there was a time where in middle school there was a vending machine that had these like fruity drinks in them. It okay. Was, it was mad like ghetto. Like I don't know what the fuck it was. It just yeah. said like apple on it. It was just like apple juice or some shit. And, but it was in a can, so you couldn't see what was in it. So, I like drank this apple thing okay. that like was was the one that everyone wanted, you know. So I finished mine and then I put chocolate milk in there. And yeah, you know, listen, chocolate milk, amazing, especially out of those fucking paper cartridges things that you can never fucking open correctly. Yeah, I hate those things. Are you trying? To, I'm trying to do fucking origami while opening this fucking thing. It's like, why won't this come out? Fucking scratching the shit out of the corner in there. I hated that shit. Why so, do I got to fucking, I got to fold it? Oh, you remember those things? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, let me tell you your future. Hmm. Green. You're fucking stupid. Yeah. They're always mean. They were never like, <laughs> you're, you're really hot and going to be successful. They're always like, you're fucking ugly and like, you, you have like, cooties. <laughs> I was like, fuck you, bitch. Do you remember those things? I was like, I knew I should have picked blue. Fuck. All right, hold on. I'm going to go back to that. But yeah. like, uh, So I filled this can up with chocolate milk. Okay. And I was like, yo, I don't want this. Like, I bought it like by accident. I didn't take a sip of it. Do you want it? This kid's like, yeah. And he drank it expecting apple juice, but he got chocolate milk. Very different tastes. Yeah. So he was prepared for something, got something else, threw up. Ew. Yeah. That's a pretty bad one. Yeah, I felt bad. I never did anything like ever again as far as that goes. I felt terrible because I was I thought it was like, ha ha, it's just chocolate milk. But he and then he drank it. Because yeah. chocolate milk's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I did something worse than that. What'd you put like? Pee pee. You peed? Here here's the whole context. Alright, so we were buying beer for this group of girls, right? In you high, pissed in a beer? In, in, in high school. And this one girl was, like, really, really annoying. 
Mm-hmm. Like, she was like, oh my God, you guys fucking get this fucking beer already? Like, we fucking gave you all this fucking money to go get it? Like, where the fuck are you guys? So I was like, yo, we got 40s. I was like, yo, blank is fucking pissing me off. I'm going to drink the first, like, couple sips of it, and I'm going to go toot 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 in there a little bit. And I did. You toot toot tooed? I toot toot tooed in there, and she drank it. I had no idea. She had no idea. That just shows you how bad old English is, by the way. And yeah. you can't tell that the difference between malt liquor and piss. I honestly, if you do to do in in my beer, I probably wouldn't know. Yeah, no. Nah. In old in fucking OE, I would never know. No. Also, this was like seven. Yeah, you probably years ago, but you, like you don't know what beer tastes like. Yeah, you're just drinking. It's like you're it's not drink. really good, but I'm gonna do it because it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, basically. That's what it was. You drank because it was cool and you had nothing to do. Yeah. I remember the but first yeah. time I drank, I drank Heineken at my friend's like... That's pee. That is legitimate monkey piss. Yeah. Heineken is disgusting. And I don't know how people drink that shit, but it was like my friend's like 17th birthday yeah. and some kids older than us like got us beer and we were drinking Heineken out yeah. of those. Remember those little kegs? That you yeah, the keg cans. Yeah. No, no, no. There was like that actual keg, but it was like this big. Yeah. Oh. We're the on the same page then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mini kegs. Also, just to clean myself up there, the girl did find out about it, and it was fine. She was okay with it. It was a, it was a joke for a while. Oh, this part I don't believe. There, there was No, there was no uh, ch- uh, charges pressed or anything like that. She, it, she thought it, they thought it was like funny, which is blew me away. If a girl was like, oh, my God, you pissed in my beer? That's hilarious. I'd be like, what the fuck? Well, they found out like a year later. That's a that's. Yeah, but still. So it was like if if I found out that night, I would be upset. Did you tell her or like it just came around? It just came around. (laughs) The rumor was out. The rumor was out. Rumors out there like, yo, Danny pissed in her beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe you do to dude. I had to. You didn't. I mean, you didn't. I didn't have to. Listen, I didn't have to. But she wasn't very nice. At least you didn't poo poo. No, 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 no. You can't drink poo poo. Yeah, pee, pee. there's people out there that drink their own pee for nutrients. Nutrients. Yeah. What nutrients? Um, I thought that's you're getting rid of. No, no, no. There's like nutrients in your pee or something. Like boxers do it sometimes. Boxers drink their piss. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's like it replant like. There's some kind of replenishing fluid within pee. So if anything, I made her into a super person. You did, so but it's fine. No. Uh, do you think you could drink your own piss? Yeah. <laughs> I could. If it was like watered, like watered out, I don't know if I could drink that yellow shit. But I could drink my own pee for sure. You can't drink like a, a dehydrated piss. You never tasted your own pee. Where have I? Why would I have done that? No, because like, uh, you've never tasted your own pee ever. I don't think so. Not like drank it. Like in the shower, pee on your finger a little bit, give the old, see what it tastes like. What, like I'm doing coke? No, yeah, a little bit, like a little freezer. No, I've no, never no, no, done no. that. Wait, you've pissed on your hand and and put it in your mouth? Yeah, like when I was like six, five. Why? Because I was a kid. I didn't know it was pee coming out of me. I don't know. It's kind of old for pissing on your hand and trying it out. I don't think so. People piss on their hands for callous reasons. Yeah, that that's fine. But jamming it in your mouth afterwards? I didn't jam it. You, you, I went ta, splashed a little bit off the stream, and went like that. That was it. I can't believe you did that. What's the big deal? I don't see any big deal about it. I think people that are lying about it aren't, you know. I'm not lying bodies. about it. I've never flicked my stream and then gotten a little taste. No. Also, there's another thing, though, too. You ever taste your own shit? No. Oh, oh, like shit's out of the question? You're tasting pee? Why would anyone taste their own shit? I don't know. You've been through the front door. Why not come out the back? If you're going to taste one or the other, what are you going to taste? Well, obviously, I'm going to take pee. Thank you. Yeah, but at six years old, I don't know the difference. Right, I'm crazy. I'm not a sociopath. Well, did you did you, did you you like the taste of your own pee? No, it was just one of those things discovering my body, bro. Uh, what did you discover? Discover my bod. You discovered that pee Let tastes like Let me ask you like this pee? question. You ever thought about tasting your own jizz? No. Never once. No. I've thought about it. You've thought about it? Yeah, why not? You've weighed the options? What are you doing? You're posing? Wait, so... I've weighed the options, but I've never tasted it. Right. You know? I know people who've done it. Oh, is that worse than pee? Just is by far worse than pee. So what are you coming at me for? 
I'm just, you're sitting in front of me. Tell me you're flicking your stream into I your mouth. I flicked my stream and it went like that. Yeah, I know. That's all that happened. Yeah, you put a cigarette out on your tongue. Basically, uh, basically, uh, uh, basically. And I was like, yeah, that's pee. That's what I thought pee would taste like, bro. <laughs> yeah, I cut, see, here's the thing. I keep it off, authentic on here. I keep it reals. That's fine. I, I, I let I'm not know. complaining about the authenticity of this show. I know you're, you're dragging your ass on the floor with shit. You said you'd never bring that up again. No, I didn't. I never said that. No, I, I never did. agreed to that. And now you're trying pee. I'm just being honest with the I've audience. I've tasted my I'm blood. I'm not lying. I've tasted my blood. I've tasted my blood many of times. Well, not. I tasted I've, my blood recently. No, like twice I've done it. No, because like, I, I, like, I had to prick mm, my finger for diabetes, so I do that sometimes. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little gross, but you know. What are we? We're eating. That was the finger I did it with. Oh. So what are we, Blood Brothers now? No, Piss Brothers now. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. flicked my stringer, uh, my, my, my stringer? Your stringer? My, 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 my stream <laughs> with this finger. <laughs> I don't think it's that weird for, like, a kid to taste his own pee, bro. Do you think it's that weird? I think that more people haven't done it than have done it. See, I would say you're wrong. I would say more people have thought, and then we're going to go back to your friends that are tasting their own cum, by the way. <laughs> but I'm just letting you this. Letting you this. I'm just letting you know this. I guarantee you, if you lie detector a bunch of people and they said no, they'd come back a hit for lying. So you think they purposefully have yeah. gone out of their way to be like, I'm tasting this piss today. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah. No. I can see if. Dude, in the shower, like, you know what I'm saying? You pee in the shower, dog? Fuck yeah, I pee in the shower. People right. don't pee in the shower? No, it's, I will save a, a lot, pee. A lot of people won't pee in the shower because they think it's gross. Ew, I will save a pee for the shower. Yeah. I like the warm some shape shit down my leg. You pee down your leg? Not my, you know what I'm saying. I was joking around. But like, you my know. My pee joins the stream that's running down my body, then down the tip of my penis. That's. <laughs> Yeah, and then it, be, it and becomes like, like a super spray. Yeah, but then you're like, I, now you don't know where my pee is. Uh, yeah, you don't know where it like, is you at don't, all. I don't know if I'm peeing still or not yeah. because the, the water that's dripping off my body <laughs> is intersecting with my stream. So it's like it my dick, my not my dick, but my piss disappears. Yeah, yeah. You, you, it does become ghost piss. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ghost it, piss. It, it is a ghost piss. Though. It's a disappearing act is what it is. Because there's soap on the floor. It's, it's a ghost piss. It's a ghost piss. But like... Your friends. Yeah. And the cum. <laughs> I yeah. want to hear this now. Mm. Because you know I got to name no names. Yeah, no. I'm Have not. I ever met any of them? Oh, you've met. You, I only know of one. Okay. so And I've met them. Oh, yeah. All right. So tell me this experience. Well, I can't really, you know, explain an experience because I wasn't there for this. Yeah, but what did they say about it? I, it was kind of like, it, not that it was in passing because it... Tr it was he attempted to make it seem like it was gonna happen, like oh I'm just gonna mention this and then we're gonna move forward. And I was like whoa 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 whoa. Yeah. And I had to bring it back and get more info. Um, but basically, one of my friends was just like, yeah, I just I it was basically the same uh, where you flicked your pee stream and tried it. It was just kind of like I'm gonna try this and see what what the whole all the fuss is about. Mm. I'll tell you this. I don't look at them the same. You don't, right? No. You can't. You can't. You would expect me to taste my pee, though, I think. I was shocked by the you tasting Really? Pee. Not that I'm shocked. It's I not mean, that crazy of a thing. If man. I really had to think about it, if you've done it, then sure. Maybe. A flick and a kiss. Doesn't a, hurt. A flick and a kiss? Yeah, that's it. I think you should taste your own pee. Do it uh, right here on the show. I'm not tasting my pee. <laughs> Listen, I'll look at my asshole in the mirror, but I'm not going to taste my pee. I thought I could get him again, guys. Sorry no, about that. No, but not. it's... uh Putting the pressure on me. It's it's really like I really I really don't think it's a big deal. I think it's kind of normal. You know, it's not just on your cat or anything, but you know yeah, that's true. Would you suck your own dick if you could? Hell yeah! <laughs> is that gay? No, it's like it, then that would mean jerking off is gay. If jerking off is gay, then I'm fucking gay as gay fuck. as all fuck. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be fucking doing backflips down that fucking parade. <laughs> If jerking off is gay, dude, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, no. Because I think we talked about that no, for a putting, second. Putting a dick in your mouth is kind of gay. It's your dick, bro. Yeah, but it's a penis. As long as you don't fin fin in there. See? Yeah, but I also think that just sucking your own ween is a gateway drug to 
trying your own J. I'm going to agree with you because I... Yeah, probably. But... It comes down to you know when you're going to be an L. Yeah. So you could get out of there if you want. Oh, yeah. You could definitely get out of there. Yeah. Eject. Yeah. But, like, do you think you'd be able to give yourself, like, a fucking awesome blows? I'll be honest. I don't have, uh, first of all, the dick capacity for that sort of thing. I think you need some sort of, like, you What are you know, saying? You got a big-ass dick? No, I'm saying I, I don't have the dick capacity. Like, I don't have some methodical penis that's going to reach, like, even No, close. no, no. Because, like, yo, another thing is, not a flexible dude. No, yeah, I hear so you. So I can't, like, I would need at least three years of yoga under my belt before I could even consider such things. And even then, I'm not even fully confident. How about this? Would you lick your own balls? <laughs> <laughs> you know those people that can put, like, their legs behind their head? Yeah, but I don't think they could get their balls that close. I'm just saying, maybe you could, like... You know, no one can lick their balls. <laughs> what, you've licked your balls? No, I'm just saying, like, there's definitely somebody out there that could lick their balls. The dick's only possible because it's. What about those up. little fucking trapeze artists that crunch into those goddamn, like, boxes that are this big? They could lick mm, their own balls, dude. Maybe. They could lick their own balls. There's somebody out there flexible enough to lick their own testicle sack. Dogs can lick their own balls, and it's like, it's fine. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but they're cleaning their penis, right? Or do you think they do because it feels good sometimes? I don't know. I think they do. They're like, this is kind of dope. Yeah, this is kind of dope. Yeah, but they also have, their dicks are in this, like, furry capsule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog dicks are weird. Yeah, dude. my dog's got a little dick. Dog dicks are gross. Yeah, it's just like his dad. But it's like... Dog dicks are probably the grossest dicks on the planet. Oh no, we looked up that dolphin dick and it was weird. Yeah, but that dolphin dick like and that looks just looks like, like a vein. Yeah, but that looks like it should be on a dolphin. A, a dog's balls are like our balls. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and like then they just have this fucking weird dick. It's dude. all wet. Yeah, and it's pointy. Yeah, and it's got. All kinds of red veins. It in looks there. like it looks like uh, like lipstick that you cut with a scissor this way. Yes, like sideways. Yes, that per and it has like that perfect sleek angle. Yeah, like yeah. It's like a flat top, but like bang. Like yeah, that. they have like like my like like Minecraft. Yeah, why is it so like just like wet all the time? It's wet all the time. It's soaking in there. Has Charlie ever been full on fucking hard? Dude, yeah. Have you ever touched his hard penis? Oh my god, no. <laughs> Try to get him, guys. <laughs> if a dog's dick touched my hand, I'd, I'd so much Purell. Have you ever been rubbing him? You got close to his penis. I'm like, I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> like, I go right up to his head. I'm like, sorry, man. Oh, sorry, man. I was playing. I'm gonna be the show last night, and it, like he was right next to me, and I was rubbing him. I was like, up oh, penis, and like went back up to his head. I was like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> can't end, and it can't end up on the internet because then all of a sudden people are gonna think you fucked a cat or your yeah. dog or something. So, yo, gotta be careful out here. Thomas's dog. It's a husky. I, I, I'm not even trying to be funny. It has a bigger dick than me. That would make sense, though. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, there's some fucking Yo, roddies this, out there that have got bigger dicks than me. For this sure. dog has a like a cock on it. Yeah. It's insane. Don't you think he's a little like, Meh. Well, he always sniffs penises. Mm. But, like, not like a dog. Like, you know how dogs, like, they get in their assholes and dicks and they're like, let me check this out. And they get a good whiff of what's going on. And then, yeah. they, you know, whatever, they collect all their information and then they bounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Download some data and bounce. Nah, he would be there all day, like. Smelling that dick. Yeah, like putting in overtime on this yeah. penis. Yeah. So it's a little, that's a little strange. So, yeah. I really am a firm believer that dogs can be homosexual, by the way. Yeah, I don't see why not. Everything else can be gay. Oh, you know what I heard about? You know when dogs dream? Yeah, and they like run. <laughs> They're dreaming about you 90% of the time. A study came out. How the fuck would anyone know that? A study came out, an animal study, whatever, some fucking university. An animal study. From some university, some like highly... Harvard, let's go there. No, not Harvard, but it was some highly certified Princeton. person. Ivy League school. I can't remember the study. I don't have my phone. Um, But... They came to the conclusion that 90% of your dog's dreams 
are of you or are of like say the people that are around most so like shannon yeah uh your your mom so they're dream- he's dreaming about me yeah he dreams about you it's pretty awesome isn't it i love him i know <laughs> I'm about to cry for a second. But also, why is he barking so much? Because he's playing with you. Oh, he's having a good time? Yeah, he's having he's having fun. How how do you... Well, I'm not a scientist. But apparently, they, they strap dogs to... Thanks for clearing that up, by the way. No, 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 no. Because apparently, the study was they did stimulation tests of their brain activity when they... Oh, and it matched. And it, and it like, matched what okay. it was when they saw their owners. Right. So they just kind of, you know... I'm not saying it's true, but yeah. the, but according to that study, 90% of their dreams are of you and like your loved ones and being and like being in with you right. or you being addicted to them too. Ooh. Yeah, they can have bad dreams. Some nightmares. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's cra- it's cra- it's kind of crazy to think about like their entire existence, right? They can't speak a fucking word. Yeah, but they can understand words. They're so smart, though. I know. It's and then it's like, yo, it's like you can't understand anything, but like you know when I'm sad, like it's very weird. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Crying? No, I got choked up. It's no, right. no, no, no. Yeah, I, I actually got choked up a little bit. But it's... thinking about your dog dreaming about you is pretty fucking cute. No, it's cute. It's yeah, great. it's cute as shit. I love it. Um, wouldn't taste his pee though. That's no, me sure. neither. Uh. <laughs> It's crazy to think about, though, like with dogs, how you they can understand like, oh, I have to sit now or I have to lay down or mm-hmm. whatever. Or that mo- word means this, but you can't say it. I know. It's kind of like you ever meet someone who's like Spanish and, and they, they you're like, yo, can you speak Spanish? It's like, no, nah, I can't really speak it, but I can understand it. It's like, what does that mean? On this episode, Joe asks a Puerto Rican person if he's ever met anybody that's Spanish. <laughs> First of all, not my met, mom. Not met a Spanish person. I'm saying met a Spanish person who's like, I can I can't really speak it, but I can understand it. Yeah, you're kinda of looking at one. You could do that? Yeah. How does that make sense? It doesn't really make sense. That's what I'm saying. Are yeah. are Spanish people and dogs the same? That's why That's gonna come off bad. We are gonna have to cut that <laughs> one. I was asking Mika the other day, like, can you uh, imagine this was like a super popular podcast? Oh like, my god! People would be like, oh my god! Between the, between the first five minutes, tasting pee and comparing <laughs> dogs to Spanish people, I think we'd be taken <laughs> off the air. Oh my god, that'd yeah. be so funny. Yo, speaking of which, like, so stuff like that. No, no, <laughs> You're no. I'm about to come in with something hot here. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. All right. So, <laughs> no, I was saying. Speaking of which, okay. Of how, like, so what I just said. Like, yeah. Obviously, I wasn't comparing. Of Spanish course, you people. weren't. You know what I'm saying? Like. But it's easy to say that for me and you, right? But if this podcast was like, oh my God, like a Joe Rogan level, like millions of people every week are listening to it, right? Yeah. If it was like that, like that can be taken such a bad way and people would be so fucking angry over nothing. Yeah, because I, if you watch this show without knowing who we are, I agree with you. But I think most of our audience that's going to like, if we didn't talk about it, yeah, they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. Now they're gonna have feelings about it. Well, now, no, now they're gonna. <laughs> now, you, now you create no, a monster. No. Be like, yeah, man. Like, listen, man. I was with you guys, but like, once that came out, I was good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. No, because you want to know is my mom's fluent in Spanish, so she would speak it a lot and then like add English into it. I'm just thinking of a bit like this. Like, how can you? pick up on certain words mm-hmm. but you can't say sentences because if you know the words because i never learned it formally it's like if you it's like but you could yeah i could but like it's not to a point where i would feel comfortable like going to fucking mexico and like i'm good yeah and i'm good like yeah. i speak fluent spanish because yeah. there's different dialects and shit you know like key words yeah like I, I would be able to get around right but like um mika was telling me like french like, he understands it, but he can't speak it either. Isn't that weird? Alana speaks French. Jesus. Yeah. I wish I could speak, like, any other language. I think that if you really try, like, from this day forward, like, got Rosetta Stone and, and really tried. You could. You could do it. Oh, of course. It would be hard as shit. Yeah, I don't want to do it. But, like, I think if you took the time out, you could learn it. Like, a buddy of mine moved to Mexico and became a chef. Didn't know a fucking word of English. 
He was there for two years, learn the learn the language. Yeah, of course. So like, if you did it on your own, like on the low, like you could learn Spanish for sure. Yeah, I don't doubt that. But that, like, I, I, that's like one thing. Like, I feel like with myself, I sell myself really, really short on stuff that I could actually do. Like, um, like shit like that. Learning languages? Learning languages or like reading more. Like, like obtainable things. Like things that are actually obtainable. You're like, I can't read this book. Yeah. <laughs> like, why, why? Like, what is in my mind that forces me to feel like that? You that think? you're incapable? Yeah. I don't know. Why would you feel that way? I just feel like I, I, I don't have a... Uh, Confidence. A rep, a, a, no, no, no. It's not. It's not confidence. It's a, a rep, a repertoire. Yeah. And I don't think I have the organization skills to be like, I'm gonna do this every night for an hour. Okay. Like, like learn, like do something completely outside of the box. That's a discipline issue. You, you would think so? Yeah, I think that's a discipline issue because when you want to, you want to do something un- uncomfortable or you want to do something like that you don't normally do, right? And you like it to be. On a weekly thing yeah. If you're unable to do it You're just not disciplined But what's something That you would love to do now That you don't do Um I don't know Read I, I Oh sure Read or play the piano more Right So that's You would say that's a discipline issue too it's Or di- is it just Or you have Your minds in other places Really That you don't Feel like you could properly dedicate yourself to it i think that you could find time for anything and i think when people say like i just don't have the time like that's that is just an excuse that you don't actually believe right like yeah you're busy like whatever but there is always time to do it if you really wanted to do it it's an easy out of the conversation yeah because the want wouldn't be there if it wasn't even possible to do yeah like if i physically cannot do it like if i want to be a rock climber but there's not a rock climbing wall for fucking 30 miles like it's not even obtainable i wouldn't think about it okay yeah yeah if if you're like you know what i think i'm gonna start reading more and like maybe the first day you pick it up like clearly it's obtainable to do that it's you could so find easy to read yeah of course but it's like i think it's a discipline thing of like i just don't want to do it now i'll do it later or i'll put it off or i won't do it today i'll do it tomorrow yeah. i'll only do it once a week and then it becomes i'm just not going to do it anymore. exactly yeah it's it's kind of like a snowball effect kind of in that way but like this is how i think about shit it's like not everybody can read. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like I take reading for granted a little bit. Like, um, you know, yo, there's people out there that can't fucking read and write, bro. Like, they would probably yeah. love to be able to read a book. <laughs> that doesn't mean you have to read every book and be a scribe. A scribe? Like, they write, don't they? I have no idea. You don't know what scribes are? Yo, if words with friends? Yeah. You think you could take me down? Fuck yeah. Can we start playing words with friends against each other? Fine. And we'll post our scores every week. We'll do one match a week. How did this start? I don't know. Because I've been playing words with friends a lot. Okay. So we should play one match a week. Yo, if you Google or you hit me with za, I'm going to lose it. No, I know all the words. Like, I, I don't like want to. QA. QI and all yeah, that like, shit. Yeah, but yeah, fucking you're going to get, get hit with those, though. All right. Yeah, but like, you know what I'm saying? Once a week, let's try and do a words with friends and we'll post the winner. <laughs> okay. And we'll see, we'll see uh, how we're doing on words. I haven't played Words with Friends in a long time, but I used to play a lot of Scrabble. Scrabble's great. Yeah. Scra- Scrabble's harder, obviously, than Words with Friends. Speaking but of Scrabble... That, that's, a, that's the real game. Why, why is it harder? It's the same game. Yeah, but you can't like put all the letters out there and see if they match. Oh, yeah. You just have to know. Yeah. Or motherfuckers will challenge you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I've Yo, been challenged hard. I feel smart and dumb at the same time when I play Scrabble because... I'll be like, oh my god, I can't believe I formed this word. I'm going to crush it next round. And then I end up doing that. But then there's other times where someone else will put down a word like taxi. Yeah. And you'll be like, what the fuck is taxi? Yeah. You know, you just like, you forget how to say words Cause, now. Because you're so caught up in your own word. Yeah. So it's like, what the fuck word is this? It's like, it's should. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Like, yes- fuck, yeah. <laughs> like yesterday. Shald? <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna play. What word was I gonna play? I was gonna play ox. I think, O X. O X. Yeah, because it had like a double letter and X is like a wild fucking. Yeah, you know, that's a big ass point. So. Yeah, that's, that's eight. Yeah, that's big points, baby. So I was like, all right, let me play this. And then somebody used the word fill. T H I L L, which I didn't know was a word. Nope. And they hit me for like forty five points. And it's like, yo, like, crush your ass, crush my ass. I was like, yo, I got like this good, like 24 pointer, like I'm good. And then I was like, oh my God, 45. There's some people out there that are 
like remarkable at that game. Yeah. Now, do you think that they're smart? No. Or do you think that they're just good at that game? Uh, it's a skill. It's a skill, right? It's not about it's it's less about especially on that app. It's less about knowing the words and it's more about like placement and how to play your whatever or yeah. holding on to certain letters or whatever. I honestly getting that triple fucking word though. Fuck Yeah. When you get to place your tile and make two of them so you oh, get two triple words. Fucking trip trips. Oh um, my fuck. Yeah. Can triple word me. <laughs> triple word me. What was your favorite OG? Uh, phone game. Besides Snake, like Snake was the only game. That oh, was on there. Candy Crush. I see. I was never like a huge Candy Crush person. I I went through a. I know big people who are on like level four hundred fifty today. Still crushing. Still, still Candy Crushing. Damn! Shout out to those still crushing it. I mean, not shout out. That's kind of a, that's an addiction. That's obsessive. Yeah. Yeah. Remember Farmville on Facebook? Yes. I used to plant mad crops. Yeah, but everyone would ruin my shit. What do you mean? Like, um, like I would never like take care of them. Like all my crops would die and shit. So that's you'd fucking your shit up. Yeah, but can't you like fuck somebody's farm up? Like attack their farm? I don't know. What? It's not an attacking. Yo, game. you remember Jetman? No. On Facebook. Jetman? Jetman. You just literally hit the space bar, and it was a guy that was constantly going through, like... Uh, oh, caves? Caves, you had to go up and down? Yeah, and you had to go up and down and not hit the top or the bottom. Jetman was fuego, son. Yeah, that was a good game. Jetman was fire. What are the games? Um... Another good one was on your phone... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What was it? Ten Brick Breaker, bro! Yeah, that's the one. I was going to say, it's like tennis where you just keep... That's just my that's my shit. When you get that fucking orange ball that would go through everything, mini clip scrolling the shit out of that you fucking remember, blackberry. You remember mini clip? No, I don't. You don't remember miniclip.com? No. That's where they had brick breaker. But it was called something else, I think. But it was fire because you could get power ups. Yeah. And it was like fourteen balls at one time. Yeah. It's my shit. Hell dude. yeah! And you're like, if I could just keep two of them up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if I could just keep two going, I'm good. I used to hate those bricks that you'd have to hit multiple times. I hate that. Hated those. Yeah. Hated them. You know what game I'm amazing at? Okay. Immediately you're like, <laughs> no, you're not. Let's see. No, but you know in bars, they have that game on the side where it's like there's two pictures, but there's something fucked up. They're like, what doesn't oh, match? Oh, oh, uh, 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 p -p 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 photo hunt. Uh, whatever. It's photo hunt, and it's fucking amazing. It's so good. I love it. Playing, check the mountains. Check the mountains in the back. Playing with somebody else though, too, like a spotter, is is clutch. Oh hell yeah! But yo, you take this half, I'll take this that's half. It, Do not it. look at my side. I will fuck you. Yeah, that's it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say, go that far to say I fuck them, but I, 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 I hear love what you're that saying. game. I love that game. You know what's the weird one? The one, the golf one that's always in bars, and there's always some drunk white dude spinning the shit out of that <laughs> fucking white ball. Yeah, he's just like, oh, he's just like. I'm like, dude, relax. You hit the ball. <laughs> I always sucked at that one. I was never good at that fucking one. What the fuck was that one called? I don't know. Some, some PGA shit. I PGA guess. golf shit. With that little white ball. <laughs> always some drunk white dude in there just. <laughs> rah! Yeah. Fucking freeing that ball. Damn, that is so funny. Arcades were fire, man. I miss arcades, dude. They have barcade. Yeah, but it's not the same, man. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't light up your night. Like, like I'll imagine be, going to remember going to an arcade when you were a kid. No, really? I never been to an arcade, like a fully fledged arcade. You never went to Nathan's? Nathan's? Hot dogs? Yeah, some of them would have arcades in them. No, I mean I've been to like hotels and they had like mini arcades, like whatever. But damn, and dude, I've been to Dave and Buster's like twice in the last year. That's an arcade. Yeah, I'm talking about like an arcade. You said, do you remember arcades? Like they don't exist anymore. They don't. Not well, like Taking that. Taking Busters is an arcade. Dude, arcades were like going to play the Simpsons fucking game. The last time I went to Dave and Busters, this guy was out on a date, clearly, with this girl. And he's like, oh, let's play the basketball game. And then he's like, I'll go first. Like, whatever. Like, being cool, right? Yeah. Gets his points, whatever. And this, this little, like, Asian girl he's with, like, okay, <laughs> Crushes him with fire. It was hilarious. Fire. I'm like, fuck you, man. I thought you were gonna crush this girl. She fucked you up. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I feel like Asians are very good at games. Well, yeah. I think they're very good at them. Yeah. Do you remember the video of the guy who 
It was an Asian guy. It was the basketball game, the little shoot, the pop a shot. Oh, he was amazing. And he had two hands and he was just. Yeah. That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. They have some like amazing focus. They, yeah, they, I think that's what it is. Yeah, they have some like hyper focus shit. That's amazing. Remember Fruit Ninja? That Fruit Ninja was fire, Fru- son. Fruit Ninja, it t- it took a lot of years off my life to yeah, go. Yeah, Fruit Ninja was fire. I hit that banana, you fuck. Yeah, I know. It was you, fucking watermelon? When you would freeze and get like that fucking nine fruit fucking combo, fucking bust a nut in my pants. Yeah, dude. Or you hit that, what was like bombs you couldn't hit? Bombs you couldn't hit. Yeah, <laughs> that shit would suck. But at Dave and Buster's, they have a big ass fruit ninja. With your, like the, size, your hands? the size of his table. Whoa. Yeah. And, and you got to cut? Yeah, and you're doing it like that. That's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what they have at Dave and Buster's that I'm really bad at, actually? Yes. The, How the fuck do you know I was going to say that? That's weird. What? That game. The, yeah. The, uh, Where the lights come up and you have to hit them as the, they pop the up. The action one? I'm trash I'm at it. I'm mad good at it. But I, I hit the fuck out of those lights. I probably broke that machine. Whack-a-mole was never a fr- fan of those. No. Not really. They I, had, would, I would just use my hands, like double hands. The street, the street fair over here, they had a whack-a-mole, but we never really played it. I usually played the game where you throw like ping pong balls at the, the fucking... Uh, the fish bowls. Oh, the carnival games are fun though. Yeah, like you yeah. know you're gonna lose, but they're fun anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like carnivals. Dude, there was this one year. I like carnivals. <laughs> Yo, actually, there was a time. So that fair, like I stopped going to because it got like mad dangerous. Like there, every time we went, there was like some sort of crazy shit that would happen. Like I remember one year. It was just like Greek gangs fighting or something. No, it's not only Greek people around. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck it is, but fights would break out all the time. Um, can't go anywhere now, but there was a guy who was a vendor and apparently, uh, he told some guy to like leave or something. And like, this all happened like right in front of me. And the guy came out and pulled a screwdriver out Jesus, and tried to stab one of the vendors with it. They beat the shit out of this man. I've never seen someone get their ass kicked as wait, bad wait, as I saw that wait, day. Wait, like the, all the carnies came up and yeah. like beat the guy up? Yep. That's fire, yo. They're ride or die like that? Yo, they beat this guy to hell. And he was on the ground. And this is how bad it was. Like he was, This is the worst I've seen anyone get their ass kicked, right? He was on the ground. They were kicking the shit out of him. And then like he was so out of it because he was getting his head stomped yeah, in. Like, uh, and, I'm li- and he like literally sat up like that, like this. And like sat up like the Undertaker. <laughs> And some guy came out of nowhere and kicked this guy in the face. Just sixty yard field goal him. And he just laid on the ground. And I was like, This is a dead man in front of me. Yeah. It literally happened right here. Yeah. And I was like, I'm never coming to this thing again. Like this is incredibly dangerous. Damn, dude. And there was another time that a fight broke out with like thirty kids. And people were running down the street. I saw a kid hit someone with a bike. And, and someone got hit with a fucking uh, a skateboard. Yeah, dude. Someone picked up a bike and threw it at someone. Didn't even throw it. Just held it in their hand and were trying to hit him with the bike. That's... It was just insane. There was shit happening. Well, I had all like, these yeah. fucking outsiders brawls going on over here. Uh, yeah, it was wild, dude. I was just like... Didn't you say you heard gunshots out here on Halloween? You were here, weren't you? No. I would have left. I would have stayed someone, here. Someone was here. But yeah, I don't know if there were gunshots. I'll tell you what though. When I was younger, I was in my bedroom, and my my mom's house where I grew up, like across the street, it's just a bunch of factories. Mm-hmm. So like it's it's we called it the dumps, like down the dumps because there's nothing over there, and some of the factories were like shut down, so there was nothing there literally. Yeah. And then the only thing, it, it, it's it's like one avenue, and then the water, and then Rikers Island, right? But Rikos Iron's like a mile into the water. Like, it, you're not, right. you know, whatever. But um, I remember one night hearing, like, yelling or something. It, like, woke me up. So I opened the window. And it sounded like it was very in the distance. Like, far away. Like, yelling. And then I heard two loud bangs and I didn't hear yelling. And, like, I don't know if it was because, you know, I, I kind of, like, tried to put two and two together. But I swore that I heard help. So I woke my mom up and I told her. And, uh, no, I would, and I slept in her bed because yeah. I was scared. <laughs> Looking back on it, gunman comes to my house. My mom's not saving me. No, nah, probably not. She's getting shot. Actually, you know what? Moms have like shot. weird like parent strength. Like she probably could figure something out. Maybe my yeah. mom's a lunatic when it yeah, comes I know. to that stuff. I know. Um, when you go back to your parents' house now, well, the, over there, your childhood home. Yeah. 
Um, do you sleep on the couch? No. I sleep in my mom's bed with my mom and the two dogs. Wait a second. Hell yeah. How old are you? I am 27 year old man. So every time, wait, help me get this right. Cause I've seen Instagram stories on your thing and that couch is, well, I've been there. That couch is ginormous. You could, yeah. you could just sleep on the couch. Yeah. I don't, I, yeah, I could. I don't think there's anything wrong with sleeping with your mom. I'm not yeah. saying that. A little old maybe. Oh yeah. A little old. <laughs> For sure, a little old. Like, how, how does it like how does it work though? Like, who goes to sleep first? She does. So you'll just be yeah, and I just pop in there. <laughs> Usually, I'm trying to make this not sound weird. No, no, no. I move the dogs out of the way, and I get in this bed. Now, is that because you? That's the only place you would feel comfortable sleeping in there. No. You just love your mom. It's not that I love my... I'm not, like, spooning my mom. I know you're not. <laughs> you're 27 years old and moving dogs so you can sleep with your mom. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's cute. <laughs> it's a little weird. It's so funny. <laughs> no, but yeah, I do that. Because, well, now... When did that start? When well, did that start, th- th- this whole thing? Well, when I moved out. Well, it's it's not the case anymore. Because <laughs> it's, it, no, no, no. Not the case it's not it's, anymore. <laughs> ever since my sister moved out, I bed. don't do that because there's there's, there's, a, there's an extra bed now. Yeah. So I'll sleep in that bed. But there was never an extra bed, and that couch was so it's so fucking like. You have this little smile on right now because it's just, so funny. <laughs> it's just funny. I, I you know I really don't like care, but no. Yeah. Why would you care? There's nothing weird about it. No. <laughs> Something weird about. It. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. So now there's an extra bed, so I'll sleep in that one. All right. And to be fair, a lot of the reason why I would sleep in that bed is because it was so comfortable. Listen, man. It was the best bed ever. I'm not hating. I don't give a shit if you hate. <laughs> I don't give a shit if you hate. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. 27-year-old yeah. man. I've slept in that bed numerous times. Good for you. Where's Keith going? sleep? In the basement. No, he has his room upstairs now. He has a room upstairs now. Yeah. The basement we're redoing. Oh, nice. Yeah. But what, do you, Keith- what are you guys putting in there? Please put a bathroom in there. When are you there? That I'm this just is saying for when I'm there, because here's why. I've pooped at your house multiple times. I don't like pooping upstairs. Why? Because that's where everyone does their stuff. I'd rather poop in like a non-poopable zone, like where most people won't go to poop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's going to be the summertime. We're going to be over there a couple times. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. And I I don't feel comfortable pooping upstairs so close to people's bedrooms. I don't like it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know if a bathroom. You have is two going... bathrooms in here. We're redoing the entire thing. We're doing the whole. Yeah, I know. I know. Get a bathroom down there, dog. Did you grow up peeing in a sink down there? What? Did you grow up peeing in a sink? No, that sink's a new uh new thing. That's uh, that pee sink is new. Pee sink is new. Yeah. Oh, so even it's, you were older when you started peeing in the sink. It's like a slop sink. It's not an actual sink. It's it's sink that you pee in. I mean, it's not a sink. You're not doing dishes and washing your hands in it. But you're peeing in it. Yeah, I'm peeing in it. Fire. That's I, dope. I like peeing in sinks. I've shit in there. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> no. I, I was trying to think how you would have to no. be stable enough off the ground to shit. Like, yeah. you would have to, like, be like a gymnast to shit in a fucking thing like that. Your face just now is just like... I was like, yo, this kid's core strength is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, those gymnasts where you're just holding that, like, <laughs> oh, and also shitting. That's crazy. It's near impossible. Um, <laughs> it's near impossible. <laughs> but it's possible. I think Keith's definitely going to dump down there. <laughs> no, no way. No. Like, mid-fort, def. Oh, my God. Do you want to hear, like, the funniest story ever? Yeah. It's about Keith. Yes. Well, kind of about Keith. Um, There was a time where... Uh, Charlie took a shit in his room <laughs> Do you know the story? No Okay Charlie took a shit in his room And <laughs> This is when Charlie was like Shitting in the house Obviously So he yeah. was young So he, he shit in his room And uh, usually He never really went up there Charlie Right Because he was around everyone But yeah. so he had shit in this room Like you know Under the radar Fucking shit recon shit Recon shit Yes um, And So it was Keith's room and Keith didn't find it until like <laughs> so long later that it was hard. 
Oh my god! Like I'm, a day later, like a dog shit has to get hard, and I don't know how long that takes. It takes a while. So it was hard. I'm like Keith, how did you not smell this? <laughs> what did he say? Didn't find a dog, a dog shit, I have a, th- a baby I have- dog, a puppy shit. Yeah, they puppies, stink. Yeah, disgusting. I have a theory. He found it, just didn't feel like cleaning it up. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look, look at this. Time to go to bed, though. <sighs> yeah, I'll do it in the morning. I'll definitely do it in the morning. Have you ever, like, uh, has Charlie ever peed and you tried to, like, rush to get him outside? I, like, picked him up. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. coming out? Yeah. I, I had to do that once with Eli when he was, like, younger. He's pissed all over me. He pissed, and I would literally pick him up, and as I was walking, it was just piss going left and right, left and right, left and right. Wait till you have a baby. Those things will pee right in your mouth. Ugh. Like baby boys, when you change their diapers, piss all over you. Fire. Not fire. No. I have, I have to plug up my baby's pee hole like, hey! What? I would hurt. I'm not going to actually put a plug in it. I'm just going to like put my thumb or my hand out of the way. It's so weird how little a baby's penis is. Yeah. <laughs> They're like this big. <laughs> it's just so weird that we're babies at one point. Me and you were babies. Yeah. Fucking babies. And then you grow. It's so weird. And you get tall. What? What? You know what I thought about the other day? It's That's so like, scary. Yeah, scary. Yeah, because it's like, yo, like, all right. So it's like when you get a dog, it's some, you know, it's like, hey, listen, this dog is gonna be ten years, twelve years if you're lucky. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's it's an everyday thing. Mm-hmm. You have to take care of that dog. But when it comes down to babies, that thing's gonna live a long ass time, and probably if you're lucky until you die, right? Right. But uh. Like, it's just weird that babies, like, grow up to take care of who makes them, if that makes any sense. Because, <laughs> like, a puppy's never going to take care of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you take care of a puppy until it dies. Yeah. Sadly. They die. They die very early, like, you know? But, like, when you have, like, a kid, they're supposed to, like, take care of you at some point. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of like an insurance policy a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah, you're you're breeding care takers, caregivers. That's what it is. What you, what's you, the difference between a caretaker and a caregiver? That is a great fucking question. Blew your mind. They're the same thing. Are they? They have to be. I don't know. They have to be. They have to be. Well, someone's taking and someone's giving here. <laughs> yeah. Not here. <laughs> but <laughs> Do you have life insurance? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Should I get life insurance? Yeah. Yeah, you should, Dan. I should. You're dangerous. Yeah, but then I'm probably uh, I'm probably a flag. I probably won't get insured. No, you. Uh, I mean, you're not fucking surfing volcanoes. Yeah. Who's that guy? Like, along came Polly or something? <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, fuck! What I forgot the fuck his name. Is his name? He likes base, like sky dives and shit. Yeah. This. Crocodile wrestling <laughs> bastard die. <laughs> oh my god, that was such a good performance. Great performance. R.I.P. Yeah. All right, definitely P. Um, hold on, right before we before we move on, babies. Get to the sponsors. Sponsors of the show. Uh, the first sponsor we have here is Untuck It. Okay, here's a tip: No guy looks good in a long, bulky dress shirt when it's untucked, which I used to do when I was younger. And my mom and sister used to kill me for it, but I just like, I like the look of untucked. I think it says like, all right, I got my button down on, but I'm not like a stepdad. Yeah. You're not soups forms, which means super formal soups forms. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so, uh, untuck it makes shirts specifically designed to be worn untucked. So they're not all long. They have a little, they're a little shorter, mm-hmm. you know, and they have nice shirts. Not too long, not too short for that clean, casual look you can even wear at the office. And I know some people that have office jobs, Espo being one of them, big untuck it guy. Um, 
But I like on tuck it because, like I said, I don't like the whole tucking thing. I don't like it either. It shows you know? off my belly too much. Yeah, it shapes your stomach. Sha- yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and now I gotta wear a, like a belt that's gotta be nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. And maybe you don't even have to wear a belt. No, I'm not a big belt guy. I like belts, but I like them for their like what they actually do, not their stylistic points. Exactly. Untuck it shirts, guys. Go check them out. Uh, they're really nice shirts. Some of I some of them my favorite shirts that I own. Um, are from Untuck It. They're and they have like wrinkle free shirts also. So mm-hmm. like right out of the pack, pow, pow, put it on your body. That's and what nice. about me? Like I'm a short guy. Do they have like stuff for short guys? Come on, bro. You're a short guy. Yeah. I'm five nine. Yeah, I wouldn't consider that like short. Oh, thanks, bro. You're welcome, man. Thanks, dude. All right, cool. Um, anyway, with more than 50 fit combinations, untuck it shirts look great on tall, short, slim, and athletic guys of all Asian. What? I just said Asians. Uh, <laughs> ages. I'm sure it does, though. Yeah, it does fit Asians. Um, go to untuckit.com or visit one of Untuckit's 50 stores across the U.S. and Canada. Um, they even offer free shipping and returns on all orders in the U.S. Use the promo code BASEMENT for 20% off your first purchase. Um, if you want the perfect fitting shirt, regardless of your shape or size, try the original untucked shirt. And remember, use the promo code BASEMENT for 20% off your first purchase. Untuck it spelled uh, U-N-T-U-C-K-I-T. All right, check that out. Uh, next, we have Stamps.com. Everyone knows Stamps.com. They bring all the amazing services of the U.S. Postal Service right to your computer, uh, whether you have a small office sending invoices or you're shipping merch or whatever you're doing. That's what I used to use it for, shipping at merch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but you can, at any point in the day, uh, use Stamps.com, and you don't have to wait on any lines. You don't have to go in the car, get dressed, go to the store, the actual post office. Uh, to do any of that, you can do it in the comfort of your own home. Um, and you could, you just need a printer. That's it. And they even, um, you know, they, they have, uh, you can print official U S postage 24 seven for any letter, any package of mail, whatever you need. Um, and with stamps.com, you get five cents off every first class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail. Um, not to mention it's a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meters. Um, so yeah, stamps.com is no brainer. Um, right now, our listeners can get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in basement. That's stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and uh, type in basement. And there you go. There you go. There you go. What's up? Oh, nothing. I got you, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh throughout the entire ends. <laughs> oh, the, man. It was the Asians thing I said? Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, it was it was a slip-up. It was a slip-up. Um, Freudian. What? Freudian. Freudian? Slip. What is a Freudian slip again? It's kind of like if I if I went to say, like, I'm, I'm going to fuck you up, but I just went, I'm going to fuck you. And then you'd be like, oh, it's a Freudian slip because you want to fuck me. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. you accidentally say what you actually mean. Yeah. You know? But that was a weird example that I gave. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah. Um, speaking of that, I got a comment on the latest video we put out on Santa Gata Studios. Okay, that is hilarious. All right. Um, <laughs> so obviously everyone knows we used to make videos that were uh, a certain way mm-hmm. and like whatever, blah blah blah. So we're doing something different. I like doing different shit, and it's, it's a lot more fun now. I love doing the podcast and whatnot. And we put out the video of us painting to Bob Ross. Great video. Like a Bob Ross tutorial. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's on youtube.com slash Santa Gata Studios. Um, and someone left a comment that said, <laughs> I mean, I'm paraphrasing here. Not the last part, but the paraphrasing in the beginning where it's like, oh, I, I miss the Walmart and, and idiots of the internet videos. I don't like this new shit. You're going in a homo direction and I don't like it. I was like, whoa. Because he said that we, we made too many dick jokes. So we're going in a homo direction. And I just find it so funny. What's wrong with people? I don't know. But why why are people so, like, bothered? I don't think I could ever comment and just be like, yeah, what's up? Uh, this is What really is a good. homo direction? I don't know. Which way, is, which way is homo direction? If I Like, if someone's going in a homo direction, does that mean it's like 
they're working their way, way up to being full fledged. Like now I'm gay. Yeah, that's what I think he's trying to I'm say. I'm inching towards that. I'm just gonna what let, is the thought process? I'm just gonna let you guys know. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. We're probably the some of the least gay people. We're just comfortable. We're comfortable men. It's okay. Just, it's that. Uh, it's All just, right. I love it. I. Love I just don't understand why <laughs> people are still calling people gay and saying they're going in homo directions. What does that even mean? I don't know. I'm painting with my friends. I can't paint. Painting's gay now. I used to love. I used to love your videos, but now you're moving in a homo direction. Maybe it was a typo. Maybe you meant whole new. <laughs> Those are completely <laughs> different. All right, you're trying to help them. But it's not working. No, I'm not trying to help that fucker. Fuck you, man. It was so funny. Actually, I think I have it. I think Keith was the one who sent it to me. <laughs> He's like, yo, this is hysterical. So I, 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 I don't know. I, I just don't get that whole thing. Oh, this is what it says. It says, oh, my God. This is way better than I thought. All right. All right. It, comes, it starts off very hot. Dudes. <laughs> I love that it says dudes. Yeah. Dudes, are you sucking each other off or something? What the fuck? Too many dick references. You sound like fags. Whoa. Ooh, they called us fags? Give us the F word. Old channel was, was 10 times funnier. Not sure why you went th this homo direction. Good luck. Minus one sub. Sad. Okay. Why did he start sounding like Donald Trump at the end there? Uh, yeah, yeah. He Minus does. one sub. Sad. sad. Awful. Awful. Sad. Damn with it. Yeah. Yeah. That guy's that guy. I'm praying for you, bud. I really am. And yeah. I, and, and I'm not. Yeah, the comment on top of that. You guys are bad at painting, but the videos are great. <laughs> well, at least you got one. I'll take at least it. you got one. Yeah, I'll take at the half got one. compliment. Um, but yeah, yeah, dude, why are you so angry? You want to know what's weird? I hate when dudes are so scared of like dick jokes. Why can't you just come out of your fucking comfort zone and like not be a fucking homophobe for three seconds? Like you ever hug a guy and he's like, oh, come on, all right, I get it, man. And you're like, relax. It's like, dude, no one's I'm gonna not trying to fuck you. No one's going to suck your cock, bro. Yeah, relax. Bro, take it easy, you fucking asshole. Like, listen, we, we've talked about how when we were kids, we would make jokes and shit. Never once have I ever been like, Scared of gay people? Get this gay thing away from me. <laughs> I don't understand how people are like that. I don't understand. What are they afraid of? What are you afraid of? Okay. Oh, my. Oh, man. Oh, but, oh but, but geez. That's, but that's, like, a lack of, that's a lack of education, though. No, it's... Uh, I and, and, and it's a and, and it's a lack... Uh, and it's also it has to come from your upbringing. Some, that's that's what I was going to say. Someone put this in your head. Yeah. That like uh, if if a gay person is within three feet of you, you get leprosy. Yeah. Or, AIDS. or something. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Not every gay person has AIDS. People out there. I also newsflash for you. I hate when people are like, when they try to seem like they're they're okay. They're not homophobic. And they go, they're like, I don't care if you're gay. Just don't be gay near me. Yeah. It's like, dude, that is the front. Like, That's called homophobia, bro. Yeah, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't care if you're gay. Just be gay on an island away from me. It's like, yo, you're a fucking idiot. I just feel like when we do the show, right, there's always like three or four like cowboys. That's what I call them. <laughs> the homophobe cowboys. We're like, it's like, you're going out of your way to call two straight people gay. Yeah. And what if we were gay? Like, who writes that and then goes unsub? Like, we're going to be like, oh, man, hate that this guy's not here anymore. We don't want you here. I will. I'm not even going to notice you. I didn't even know you were there to begin with. Funny comment, though. Yeah. I would get a chuckle reading it. It, it it was just the like, dark side of me. We get a chuckle reading that. Yeah, because I love how it starts off, dudes. Are you guys sucking each other off or something? God, it's so weird. I wonder. Uh, was he telling a joke or maybe he was actually like curious? He could like, have been April Fools in us. Yeah, maybe it's like just kidding. Love the homo direction. <laughs> it, could, it could be an April Fools. It could be an April Fools. Probably not though. I'm definitely gonna look him up now. I don't know if you could. He didn't have like a picture or anything. <sighs> One of those guys. None of those people have pictures. Fucking eggs. Eggs. 
Fucking bastards. Bastards. <laughs> can never find. Have you ever tried to find someone, though, that is like, said, like put a comment on your thing? No, I've, I've never. I've done it. Did you? Fuck yeah. Why? What's up? What'd you find? Oh, uh. Someone wrote a comment and you're like, I'm going to find this person. Yeah. What, what yeah. were you going to do when you got them? No, I find like shitty. No, 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 not in person. No, I know that. Like, I'll find like pictures of them and like, like post them. I used to do this all the time. You would flame them? Yeah. I'd be like, this guy made fun of me. <laughs> I like I used to be really really you you stopped me from doing that really really yeah because remember I talked to you I was like yo like I'm gonna go at like one of these guys it's like when we first started working with each other yeah, you're yeah. like why and I was like yeah you know what it doesn't make sense but I used to love it adds fuel to the fire because even if you read something that bothers you um, see there's two things like I, I hate when people act like oh Comments don't bother me. It's like, dude, someone is saying something bad about you. Like that by definition is going to make you feel bad. Like maybe it doesn't make you feel bad to the point where like changes your mood. But when you read it, you're like, oh, it sucks. Like someone doesn't like me. You know, yeah, you, who the fuck likes to be hated? Like that's nobody, stupid. Nobody. You know? I want everyone to like me. Exactly. So it's like when someone says something like that, there's a little part of you that's like, ah, that sucks. But like, whatever, you know, it's not a big deal. But if someone really strikes a nerve with you and oh, like bothers you, I'm bad too. I never have, I've never really done that. There have been times, like in the very, very, very beginning, like when I had like 6,000 followers on Twitter, uh, I've replied to people before. And then I've noticed that that just is like, you just open up the floodgates. Because now everyone's like, get, oh, he's going to respond? Yeah. Now I'm going to fucking go at it. Yeah. Even if I don't feel that way. Did I'm you, just going to say it. Did you LOL them? No. <laughs> All right, so Joe does this thing where like, if he's like mad at you, not re not really mad at you, but like if you do something that upsets him, he'll always end it passive aggressively with the LOL. No, I'll start it with the LOL. Yeah, he'll start it with the LOL. He'll be like LOL. He's not laughing at all. No. And then like it's kind of like a laugh you do before you're like, <sighs> listen, bro. <laughs> yeah. There's it's like, that. All right, well, um, well, you didn't edit it, so. Yeah, 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 and then. He'll immediately follow it up with something really nice. Because I don't want to, I don't want to, yeah, I do that constantly. I do that constantly. I'm like, yeah, I've told him, I was like, yo, you could be a dick, bro. It's cool. Like, don't it's worry just about not, it. I don't like it. it. It hurts me. Yeah. I don't like being a dick either. Especially because like, <laughs> I know it bothers you. You know what it bothers a lot, Davino? The if, LOLs? No, no, no. Like it, if he does something that could be taken like, I wouldn't. I, I I know the kind of person Davino is. Like he's the nicest kid in the world. I never want to hurt anyone's feelings ever. Really, Davino will do something that is so like it's minuscule. Like it doesn't bother me at all that you said that. You know, right? Like he'll make a joke about something, and I'm just like, haha. Like four days later, he'll text me and be like, Yo, I just want to say like I'm sorry about that. Like I, I'm like Davino, I'm not even thinking about. Like relax. I'm not even thinking about this. Like you're my friend. You're not a stranger. But I, I always feel bad, like, especially if it comes down to the show, like, if it doesn't meet your standards, I always feel bad. You know what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> when I get that LOL, I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> Motherfucker lolled me. <laughs> and then I'm just like, I'm like in my bathroom, like, thinking about my life for like the next, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> I remember the last time I did this, you were on your way to therapy. And it's like, all right, I'm going to therapy to talk about you for an hour. <laughs> I had a great uh, therapy session actually yesterday. You cry? I did actually. Five. I did cry. I did I'm trying cry. to cry at therapy. Yeah, you're in. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to cry. You should call. You should call them today. Yeah, Try I'm gonna set away. I I would love to go to therapy and just cry because then I'm like, ooh, this is working. Crying? You know, like with Listerine, where it's like when it burns, it's like, oh, this is working. When Hell you're yeah. crying at therapy, it's working. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. But no, but um. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Back back to like the comment thing, like there's yeah, like. That guy went out of our way to call us fags, bro. Yeah. Why does that? I don't know. It doesn't bother me, though. It doesn't bother me. It just makes me. It makes me feel sad, for like, the earth. <laughs> it's like this guy first off called us dudes. Yeah. Hey, dudes, are you guys sucking each other's dicks, basically? And then called us fags, and then unsubbed. Like old me would be like, I can't let this guy win. <laughs> but he doesn't win. No. He's just some random homophobic dude yeah. that I don't know. No. I think it was an April Fool's joke, hopefully. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't think so. No. 
You ever pulled an April Fool's joke on anyone? No. I April think Fool's April Day Fool's... is so fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of the dumbest days. Hey, the whole point of a prank is so that people get caught off guard. Now we're dedicating a day like, hey, do the pranks today. Yeah. I'm on guard. Yeah, it's dumb. It's dumb. Defeats the purpose of a prank. Yeah. I've tried when I was younger, probably. Yeah, of course. everyone's like, tried. Ooh, like, uh, let's put a cup of water above the a jar door. Yeah. A jar door? Well, like when the door is a jar. Oh, open. Yeah. Like, oh, it's like a, a riddle, isn't it? When is a jar? Not a jar. Not a jar. When it's closed. Didn't someone say that at Xbox the other day? I think Frankie said that. On yeah, Xbox. somebody said it. Yeah. But uh, no, but like uh, even like what Bieber did. Yeah, the Bieber thing is ridiculous. He played an April Fool's joke and said that he was him and Haley Bieber uh, were pregnant, and then they weren't, and then people like lost their minds about it. And I'm like, yeah. I think pregnancy jokes are fucking stupid. Like, I think they're stupid. Yeah. I don't, but like, the, I don't think that one is stupid. Like, no. hi, like him doing it to everyone else is like fine, but like, if if she did it to him, I'd be like, this girl's a fucking psycho. Like, right. oh, I'm pregnant. No, I'm just kidding. Like, why would you? Li- why would you like lie about? Yeah. A, the birth of a child. Like, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. But like to to do it to the mass, like, oh, who, who's offended by that? A lot. I, I guess a lot of people. I guess people that like can't get pregnant or something. But I, who I, the f- how the fuck does that apply to them? I, I don't know. I don't think it does. Hey man, we're having. I'm a just kid. trying. To, I'm just trying to see where. You can't do anything though now. No, that is ridiculous. If people who can't have children, like that's that's terrible, and I'm sorry about that. Like you know, whatever. I'm not being insensitive. I'm just trying to connect this. Fucking Justin Bieber says, "Hey guys, we're pregnant. April Fools." And you go, "Oh man, I can't have kids. That offended me." How? 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 I don't know. It's, and I'm not saying you can't be offended. I know you're I just, saying you can't. I don't think you should be though. To be honest, I'll, I'll go out there and say it. I think it's a little crazy to be offended by that. People have joked about that. That's like one of the biggest April Fool's jokes like there is. It's a classic April Fool's joke. What about all the fucking pregnancy pranks on YouTube from those fucking idiots? Did you see that guy that made out with his sister? Oh, don't get me started, dude. That was all. I don't even. I, know. I think that's fake. I think it's fake, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that kid's a fucking weirdo yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. That guy's. His whole channel's making out with people. Yeah, it's weird. It's fucking creep. I don't understand people that. It's like, yo, let's play rock, paper, scissors. Fuck it. And he starts making out with them. Yeah, that's not. It can't be real. Dude, you're awesome. Yeah. Pussy slayer, dude. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Dresses like Chris Angel. He does. It's weird, <laughs> dude. The kid's a weirdo, dude. Dresses oh, like Chris yo, Angel. and that video, that video of him kissing his like half sister, where the fuck yeah. he's talking about? He was like, "So you guys have been asking for this, and I'm gonna." Who's asking for this? Yeah, I know. Show me. One comment where someone's like, "Yo, you know who should kiss your fucking sister?" Yeah. You know who probably said it? This fucking guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that called us gay. Hey, kiss your sister, bro. Kiss your sister. That's sick. Don't be gay. Kiss your sister, bro. Don't be, <laughs> don't be gay. Kiss your sister now. Do it. That was a powerful dude. That was. I think we can end on that note. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, Danny, where can they find you? You can find me at... Whoa. It's your name. No, you... I was, okay. I was going to say you can find me in St. Louis rolling on dubs, rolling on dubs. But Just say you're fucking... At Dan Priori on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> uh, you guys can follow me on social media at Joe Santagato. Go check out the show on Instagram at The Basement Yard. And uh, our Patreon that is set up. Um, Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you for supporting the show, everyone. Um, yeah, you get a free, free. You get a free extra episode on on um, the Patreon that is exclusive to the Patreon. You get mm-hmm. every episode a week in advance. And you get other cool shit as well. Extra content, Q&As for me and Danny and shit like that. And you yep. can also get a personalized video message through there if you're in a certain tier. So go check that out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. And that is all. See you guys next time.